Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast. As always, it's me here, Aviv Ben Yosef, and we'll be talking about waste in this episode. It's been about a month now since the war started here. There's still war going on. Things are still intense. We'll still have over 240 people taken hostage in Gaza, of whom we haven't received signal, who weren't able to be seen by the Red Cross. And now there are some people in the West who call for ceasefire. And this is extremely stupid, basically like Al-Qaeda a day after 9-11 saying, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, let's go for a ceasefire. But even more so, Hamas has said a few days ago, an official in an interview has said they will continue with the same sorts of attacks again and again and again until they free the land from all the Jews here. Therefore, ceasefire basically means let them keep the hostages, don't pay a price for what you've done, and just let them come at us again. As if you're just asking Israel to say, oh, we had a horrible disaster, but we can't do anything because you're calling for a ceasefire, so let's just play some sad music and wait for them to come at our kids again. Nope. This would be a waste. And this is the topic of today's episode. Waste. Ever since I got into consulting, one of the things that I found most important to talk to people about is noticing when there is an opportunity, even during something awful, to at least do what you can control and get something out of it. Right now, not ending Hamas would be a waste because we've already paid such a grave price, both people. And people keep saying that Hamas doesn't represent all Gazans, that the Palestinians there don't support that terror. And therefore, freeing Gaza from Hamas is doing both peoples a service. And that's what we should be doing. Not doing so would be a waste. And I've been talking about wasting opportunities. For example, three years ago when COVID started, I had one of my biggest webinars about not wasting a crisis. We had the COVID crisis, and I talked about how can we grow a new generation of leaders, managers, and ICs that work better in a hybrid world? How can we create teams that are more hybrid, more global, due to the shift in the industry, that sort of stuff? I still believe that. And when the economy has started to turn on startups, a year ago, if you've been listening, I've been talking about, again, leveraging the economic crisis into building better companies, building better engineering organizations, because if you grow slow, you can actually create a team that's a lot more effective. I have a lot to criticize about how Elon Musk works in general, but I do believe that the core of having a smaller team, a scrappier team, tends to create better results and a lot more innovation. So that's not wasting that economic crisis. And I think that one thing you should all keep in mind as leaders is that the one thing that's most precious not to waste is your own lives, your careers. You don't get a do-over. This is it. This is it. Every year you waste in a role you're not excited about or not pushing your team where it should be so you'd be excited about it is wasted. It's never going to come back. And as we just saw, life can be extremely short. And therefore, I want you to consider, are you doing what you should be doing so as not to waste this precious thing you have? For example, if you look at the past three, four, five, six months, are you on average happy? to come to work? Do you feel satisfied? Or have the days turned into an endless grind? Are we just doing it out of habit? You're just doing what you feel like you ought to be doing. Are you leading a team that you're proud of leading? Or are you just leading an average team or even worse? Because life is too short to spend years leading a team you're not proud of. Leading a team you don't believe is maximizing its potential driving amazing impact. I know that there are people who just look at their jobs as jobs. They don't think about it the moment they get home. They don't try to do anything beyond just ticking the basic boxes so they get paid and that's it. But I also know that those of you listening aren't like that. If you're listening, you care. If you're listening, 
you probably have the capability to create an amazing team. You just need to stop wasting this opportunity. Either decide to turn your organization into something amazing, something that's going to be a career highlight for you and for the people on the team, or realize that this is not the right place for you and move on. This might sound simplistic, but I don't think that you should allow yourself any other option. Those are the two you've got. And therefore, I want you to stop wasting it. And if you decide that you want to maximize potential, to create a team you're going to be proud of, and you don't know how, reach out to me. My email's in the show notes. And due to the war here, unfortunately, I have some open slots because some people are up in reserves or do not have the capacity to work with me right now as we have planned. So do check it out. I'll be happy to hear. Other than that, I've returned to writing my weekly articles. You can get them by subscribing to the newsletter. Link in the show notes as well. Thank you. I'll be here next week.